I'm here. What did you make of the interview that I've just had with uh, George Zimmerman's brother? I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. I have a good opinion what happened, like everyone else. Um, I don't know. He just doesn't look like a seasoned enough liar to talk to you. What do you think happened from everything you've seen and read? I don't know what happened. Um, do you believe that any kind of altercation, if Trayvon was unarmed, justifies somebody shooting him? Well, um, I just know that young man shouldn't be dead from this ordeal. You know, um, I can only go by what I saw on television. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, but I can only go by what I see on television. Once the officer told him to stop following him, he should have took that order from a superior and stopped following him. And once he stopped following, the young kid continues to go. Um, what happened after that order was denied? I don't know. Do you believe, as many do in the black community, that young black teenagers in hoodies get profiled, get chosen, targeted for this kind of thing? Do you believe that? Um, it doesn't matter what I believe or not. Um, the history of the nation proves it. You know, what I mean, when I say it means nothing, you have to go by the history of particular incidents like this. And that's, and that's the proof, you know. How, I don't know, you, this is just the, um, the television, of course, saying this. How did the young kid know that he had a gun mm. to go for the gun? I don't know. I mean, that's a very good point. I mean, how did he know that he had a gun? Unless, to go for it. Unless he saw it. Unless he saw it, yeah. Unless he was trying to go for it. But I don't know, unless he defended himself. Um, what do you think I of wa it? I want to believe that um, Mr. Zimmerman did something wrong and illegal, but um, I wasn't there.